Good day everyone, my name is Valerie Gracilia and I am from group 8. My topic is index and scale, which is all about statistical techniques. And I'm going to explain to you their meaning and differences. Let's start now! Some learning inputs may not be easy to quantify and may need added statistical techniques to be understood. For example, the concept of age may require composite measures equivalent to asking several questions as an object of inquiry. The use of an index scale may help to explain and elicit understanding of concept with a range of conceptual variations. Now let's define index. An index is a way of compiling one score from a variety of questions or statements that represent a belief, feeling, or attitude. Index are very useful in quantitative social science research because they provide a researcher a way to create a composite measure that summarizes responses for multiple rank-ordered related questions or statements. In doing so, these composite measures gives the researcher data about a research participant's view on a certain belief, attitude, or experience. For example, let's say a researcher is interested in measuring job satisfaction and one of the key variables is job-related depression. This might be difficult to measure with simply one question. Instead, the researcher can create several different questions that deal with job-related depression and create an index of the included variables. To do this, one could use four questions to measure job-related depression, each with response choices of yes or no. To create an index of job-related depression, the researcher will simply add up the number of yes responses for the four questions above. For example, if a respondent answered yes to three of the four questions, his or her index score would be 3, meaning that job-related depression is high. If a respondent answered no to all four questions, his or her job-related depression score would be zero, indicating that he or she is not depressed in relation to work. Let's go now to scales. Scales measure levels of intensity at the variable level, like how much a person agrees or disagrees with a particular statement. A scale is a type of composite measure that is composed of several items that have logical or empirical structure among them. In other words, scale take advantage of differences in intensity among the indicators of a variable. The most commonly used scale is Likert scale, which contains respond categories such as strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. Other scales used in social research include the Trustone Scale, Gutman Scale, Bugardo Social Distance Scales, and the Semantic Differential Scale. For example, a researcher interested in measuring prejudice against women could use a Likert scale to do so. The researcher would first create a series of statements reflecting prejudice ideas each with response categories of strongly agree, agree, neither agree nor disagree, disagree, and strongly disagree. One of the items might be women shouldn't be allowed to vote, while another might be women can't drive as well as men. We would then assign each of the response categories a score of 0 to 4. 0 for strongly disagree. 1 for disagree, 2 for neither agree or disagree, and etc. The scores for each of the statements would then be added for each respondent to create an overall score of prejudice. If a respondent answered strongly agree, 
to two statements expressing prejudice ideas, his or her overall prejudice score would be 8, indicating a very high degree of prejudice against women. That's all. Thanks for watching.